The Mandela Effect is a popular theory that suggests not only are there multiple parallel universes, but they're colliding and crossing in some way. This idea comes from the recent discovery that thousands, if not more, have false memories of certain events or facts. The most popular example, and apparently the first mention of the Mandela Effect, was when a blogger named Fiona Broom brought this phenomenon to the public's attention in 2010. She explained that while at a convention, she and several others discussed that they always thought Nelson Mandela had died during his 1980s imprisonment. Once she took this idea and theory to the internet, it quickly grew momentum. People have shared examples of the Mandela Effect ever since on varying platforms. Here are some of the best examples found to date. Number 15. We Are The Champions In the Car Karaoke episode featuring Gwen Stefani, George Clooney, and Julia Roberts, the group sings the beloved Queen song, We Are The Champions. When the song ends, they all wait in anticipation for the of the world part, but it never happens. The group is shocked and confused. Millions of people recall a last slow line singing of the world after the climatic end, but it apparently doesn't happen. If you search live footage, album, or in-studio recordings of the song, they all simply end with we are the champions. And pretty much every time you watch it, you feel like something is missing. Number 14. Kit Kat Apparently, plenty of people believe that the famous candy bar used to have a dash in its name. From a grammatical standpoint, it would also make sense considering the name is two words brought together. However, if you search up or just look at the label of a Kit Kat bar, there is no dash. The brand has also apparently never had a dash in the title, as most historical information surrounding the candy doesn't mention a change of the name. Something interesting is that mutton pies served at the Kit Kat Club in London, which is an 18th century English club, was known to be called Kit Kats with a dash. Could this tiny detail be the cause of thousands having a strong mismemory, or is there more to it? Number 13. Bernstein Bears Perhaps the most popular example of the Mandela Effect at work and the example that really gained this theory some traction is based on the well-known series of children's books and short movies. Many people believe that the spelling is Bernstein, B-E-R-E-N-S-T-E-I-N, when it's apparently Berenstain, B-E-R-E-N-S-T-A-I-N. Despite countless people remembering the spelling as Steen, it is wrong. People have begun pulling out their old books and VHS tapes and are shocked with what they found. YouTuber Yaada Learn has made an in-depth analysis of this where he uses the Wayback Machine to examine older websites where it is spelled like Steen before being changed to Stain with an A. He attributes this to website owners also having a false memory and later correcting themselves. There's no evidence of the authors or producers blatantly changing the name. Most evidence supports that it has always been this way, and either people just don't remember it correctly, or there's another nick in reality causing this difference. This is definitely an example that could have had an entire video on its own. Number 12. Oscar Mayer This beloved meat company with its giant hot dog truck and friendly jingle has also been the victim of a universal flip. The company that many know as Oscar Mayer is apparently now spelled with an A as opposed to an E. Yep, that's right, it's now spelled M-A-Y-E-R. No matter how clearly you remember this image where it's spelled M-E-Y-E-R, when you Google the company photos from as far back as 1983, they all have the spelling with an A. Number 11. Jiffy Peanut Butter Many people remember the popular brand Jiffy Peanut Butter. The problem is that this brand doesn't exist whatsoever. There is, however, the well-known brand Jif, but there has never been a brand or a spelling where it's Jiffy. Number 10. Mona Lisa The famous painting of Mona Lisa has always had the tagline of Mona Lisa's smile. It was actually a key point of discussion for scholars around the world as to whether or not Mona Lisa's expression could be considered a smile, and how she could have held the position for so long during a multi-hour painting. However, as of late, when people see the painting, they clearly see a smile. Could this be the work of years of controversy simply convincing people that she's smiling, or is something more supernatural occurring? Many die-hard Mandela Effect believers argue that Mona Lisa's appearance has changed over time. 
Those that have kept up with the painting and work written around it claim she used to be entirely emotionless. Even though looking at the painting now, she's clearly smirking at least a little bit. Other details about the Mona Lisa have been described differently as well. Some remember her having clear embellishments on her dress or a grassy background opposed to the common mountainous one. Many people even claim she used to be looking in a different direction as well. Of all the examples of the Mandela effect tampering with reality, this would be the one that goes the furthest back in time. For believers, this would make you question everything around you that you thought you've always known. Number 9. Forrest Gump In this American classic, people have always referenced the popular quote as, Life is like a box of chocolates. According to the Wikipedia page and current clips, the quote goes, Life was like a box of chocolates. Many people have attributed this to Gump's thick accent making it hard to clearly hear what he says. But others firmly believe this is the work of an unnatural twist in time. Which way do you remember it? Number 8. The Monopoly Guy People around the world have no trouble remembering the beloved family game Monopoly that sometimes took hours and sometimes tore the family apart. Something that millions remember incorrectly though is the depiction of the Monopoly Man, more formally known as Uncle Pennybags. Many people seem to remember Mr. Pennybags as having a monocle. Throughout the game's history, it's actually been a staple of the character. In the film Ace Ventura, the character dressed as the Monopoly guy actually has a monocle. And when you look into images of others dressing as the mascot, they also have the monocle. However, when you Google Uncle Pennybags or Monopoly guy alone, you can clearly see that there are no current depictions in which he has a monocle. Is it time to break out the dusty old board game and check for yourself? Number 7. Famous Darth Vader Line Many people remember this famous Star Wars line as, Luke, I am your father. Even parodies of the scene are stated in the same way and re-uploads of the clip are titled accordingly. However, when you view the clips now, he clearly states, No, I am your father. Number 6. Apollo 13 Quote this example should be credited to the Reddit user Diplomatic for the related master post. The quote from the Tom Hanks Apollo 13 movie, Houston, we have a problem, has gone down in history and media as one of the most famous quotes ever stated. While we already know this line isn't a carbon copy from the actual quote from astronaut James Lovell, we do know that it's slightly more famous thanks to Hollywood. The whole issue comes in when several outlets such as BuzzFeed and others claim that this was a misquote and it was actually Houston we've had a problem. According to these claims, everyone was remembering the movie quote incorrectly. Everyone already filed this into the category of a Mandela effect because so many people misremembered it and blamed a strange switch in the lineup of the universe. However, when going back now and watching the clips of the movie, it clearly states the original, Houston we have a problem. In fact, in a YouTube upload by Movie Clips, the comment section is filled with commentary on this issue. We would hope that the several websites, articles, and readers in agreement would have reviewed the movie before publishing something about a misquote. Could it be possible that the universe flipped back to its original position? Number 5. Fruit Loops This minor misspelling has caused thousands of people to believe in the Mandela Effect and question their favorite childhood breakfast cereal. Reddit user Wild Wasted Youth explained that while scrolling through Reddit, they came across a post that explained Fruit Loops with two O's in fruit was actually named Fruit Loops with the common and proper spelling of fruit. They discussed this with their friends who were shocked to find out that it was no longer fruit with two O's and apparently never had been. Fast forward a couple months and the title has apparently changed back to Fruit with two O's. With the same people freaking out that they remembered it solely as Fruit with the proper spelling. This one is a bit hard to explain, and there are several opinions on when and if it changed and whether it changed back. Number 4. The Second Speeding Up When you're a child, one of the first things you learn is how to count. Whether it's counting toys, learning the shapes of numbers, or counting seconds. It's a huge part of a person's childhood and something they're likely to never forget. Many people learn the method of 1 Mississippi, 2 Mississippi when learning to count seconds. This was done to keep a steady pace and assure that you didn't speed up or count too slowly. 
Another version of this was the popular 1-1000, 2-1000 and so on. Something strange that people have reported is that time seems almost faster now. People have practiced the same method when trying to teach their own children but it seems abnormally slow. And when they turn to technology such as a stopwatch, wall clock or cell phone, using these terms makes it hard to even keep up with the watch. Though it was never a problem when learning in the past. This one could easily be written off as different teaching methods and speaking styles. But it's something that has many people convinced that something in our universe has flipped to affect memories and affecting time. Number 3. Looney Tunes Similar to the Fruit Loops issue, this is a minor change in one word of the title that has beloved fans confused and concerned. Many people remember the spelling as Looney Tunes with two O's, when it is, in fact, Looney Tunes. T-U-N-E-S. Even greater confusion was raised with the Tiny Toons graphics where it spelled the way people remember. It would also make sense to have the spelling as T-O-O-N-S because of the spelling in Looney and Cartoon. Number 2. Spelling of Febreze This is another minor change in the label of a well-known company that has conspiracy theorists believing something is askew in our reality. The air deodorizer known as Febreze is apparently spelled much differently in the opinions of some. The current spelling is Febreze with only one E, between the R and the Z. The way people remember it though is with two E's. Number 1. Billy Graham's Death Billy Graham is a famous Christian minister known all over the world for his TV spotlight throughout his career. He worked closely with politics and media during historical times such as the Civil Rights Movement and the Vietnam War. Many people were devastated and shocked when he died, except for the fact that he didn't die. Much like the original mismemory of Nelson Mandela, people remember Graham dying when he didn't. Despite people remembering that he died in 2009 and had a grand funeral which was live on TV, he's still alive today at 98 years old. Some remember seeing the funeral on TV and some remember distraught family members who were fans of Graham, and some argue even now that he did in fact die. These memories, though strong, are completely false. Would it be possible for someone to die in another universe and be perfectly healthy in this one? More importantly, what kind of universal time flop would bring someone back from the dead? Hey everyone, I know I rarely do conspiracy type videos, so if you like this and you're wanting more of these types of videos, be sure to check out my friend All Time Conspiracies and their newest video. Their channel is full of content like this and I highly recommend it if you're into that kind of stuff. Thanks for watching and have an awesome day.